Oi, oi, Mobilisi. Hey everybody, so today I got two uh, Battle Spot Double singles matches, so this should be fun. Uh, my team, uh, the main focus here is a lead Breloom. I like to bring usually a few different lead options and a few different mega options with me in Battle Spot to mess with stuff. So, um, I do lead off with Breloom in this instance. I, I figured if he did have Mega Kanga as the lead, I could have just dipped out, gone to something else. But I get a sweet all uh, Spore off on this Vaporeon. I was actually very surprised he stayed in. So here I'm like, there's literally no way this guy stays in. So I, I, <laughs> I went for a Spore again, and he stayed in. I was like, are you serious? Because he had the Mega Kanga, and he could have come in and just messed me up. So here I have to go for Swords Dance. I'm like, okay, well now I have to SD if he is going to commit to staying in here like this. And I get very unlucky. He wakes up the first turn, but he goes for a Toxic, which is lucky because... I am Sash Technician, I think fairly obviously, and uh, it's okay for me to deal with that. Like, I, I don't, I would have, I'm, I'd rather get poisoned than go to my Sash, is what I'm saying here. So he uh, protects himself, which is just, you know, mildly irritating uh, with the whole uh, poison stall, and I, I, I have to go for um, a bullet seat here. There's nothing he can, I really didn't fear anything he had here. So uh, he goes for the bullet seat. And uh, it's going to do a lot to this Aegis Slash. Uh, most of them aren't too specced for regular defense. They just rely on the natural defense. And I get really lucky. Uh, I get a crit and I believe uh, a 4 hit or a 5 hit. Um, yeah, I got a 5 hit and a crit. So I do a m a so much damage to this thing. And while my team is capable of handling it, um, I, you know... So here I was actually expecting... Um, I was expecting either a King Shield or a Shadow Sneak, and he does not have either, so that's very good for me. Don't want to take any extra damage, or uh, that I don't have to be a Poison or a Shadow Sneak, which is sweet. Shadow Sneak would have done a lot of damage to me. So he goes into Vaporeon, I believe, just to get the Protect Stall here. Uh, he doesn't really want to take any damage from any of his other guys. Um, so I'm just going to bullet seed the hell out of this thing next turn. Uh, no matter what he's got, it's going to take a butt from plus two, uh, stab technician bullet seed. <laughs> there goes the Vaporeon, man. It's two hits. <clears throat> so that's awesome. So uh, I believe his last is uh, the Mega Kangaskhan. Uh, but I'm going to die here first. Uh, so God, God rest my loom soul. You, you put in work, my dude. I love getting the five, uh, the five, the five in a row. It's sweet. <clears throat> so anyway, he goes into, uh, he goes into T-Tar, or I go into T-Tar, and he goes into Kanga, and I know it's coming, uh, it's obvious fake out's coming, however, um, that doesn't really matter, uh, I believe this is my, uh, my Scarf Tar, not my Band Tar, so, uh, I do know I will outspeed next turn, and I just probably be able to kill it with a superpower. Um, even if I'm incapable of killing with superpower, uh, this turn, for whatever reason, uh, there's no way he could, because my Garchomp is my last Pokemon, he will come in and he will outspeed and he will just murder this uh, Mega Kangaskhan with uh, Sand Forced uh, EQ with a 102 speed tier. So anyway, that's the end of the battle. Uh, that was a good match, so thanks for watching. Uh, we have the second match coming up. Real quick, uh, here it is. Uh, this versus a player named Michael. I brought in an Azelf lead. Uh, they're decent in OU Smogon. Like, I'd say Azelf's a pretty niche Pokemon, but he, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. So I wanted to bring it into Battle Spot Singles. Um, you know, I, I kind of realized from this match and a few others, Stealth Rocket just is not good against, uh, in Battle Spot Singles. It's just, there's no longevity. So, here, um, I go for the, uh, Flamethrower because I didn't know what the hell he's trying to do. Uh, he switches into Gengar. So whatever. Uh, I go for Stealth Rex this turn because I, don't, I have Sash. I don't care what this guy does. Um, and he hexes me and I die. So, or I don't die. I go. To, I actually don't even go to Sash, amazingly enough. Uh, here, I go for Stealth Rex again because I misclicked and I'm stupid. I won to Flamethrower because, you know, it's my only other attack. I only have a ta uh, Flamethrower and Explosion uh, as my attack moves in this itself. It's fairly standard stuff. So then I go into T-Tar this turn. Um, I'm Scarfed, so... Uh, I don't think he can kill me. He could will a me, but I'm pretty sure a Pursuit's going to kill this thing no matter what I do, so Gengar is so frail. Uh, so he's going to die to a Pursuit because he switched out, and it gets the full base power as opposed to the normal uh, tiny Pursuit base power. But that, like again, I think it would have killed it no matter what. 
Crunch wouldn't have been a bad option, as you see, because it does go into Metagross, but yeah. Um, so I switch out here, fearing the Meteor Mash. Uh, and I go into Garchomp, just to get some rough skin. And here's where I get very, very scared, because this is a Mega Metagross, right? Uh, I just don't have, like... <laughs> like... I, I was afraid of him out because he'll heat out speed my Garchomp and Ice Punch this turn, and then I'd have to rely on uh, Titar to come in and kill it with Crunch. However, he went for the Hammer Arm for four times super effectiveness on my um, on my Titar. However, <clears throat> the cool thing is since this is Mega Chomp, after the speed drop from Hammer Arm, I will get a, a 102 base speed Mega Chomp EQ with Sand Force, which is so sick. I love that you keep the speed tier on the first turn, it's so dope. Uh, so now, he goes into Umbreon, and there's literally no way this Umbreon takes uh, takes the Sand Force Earthquake. I'm not, I'm a naughty nature, but uh, I have no attack investment outside of the nature, so yeah. It actually lives, pretty surprising, but uh, it's gonna die from the Sandstorm. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, see you guys next battle, I hope, and I know there hasn't been any RNG abuse tutorials lately, there's gonna be some coming next week, I've just been too busy to do anything but stream and battle. So, thanks, see you later guys. It's, it's a lot of advancements I do not feel like doing. So we're going to pick a lower form. I would say... Mine is a fine form, if it's something I think. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. And we'll see where I click it.